This month, an emotional support dog made national headlines when he bit a passenger on the face during a flight in Atlanta. And it is causing some concern since support animals are not required to have any formal training and are not regulated, but are still welcomed on, on planes, in hotels, and in special housing. Only News 5's James Girardi is explaining the dilemma of service dogs versus support animals tonight, live from Hopkins. James, what did you learn? Lee, you've seen them in airports before. There's an estimated 100,000 emotional support animals that board planes in this country every year. And like you said, they don't require any training at all. That, many experts say, is dangerous. Vince Holton's dog, Monster, is a therapy dog. He takes her to nursing homes, preschools, and everything in between. Oh, it's great. She's therapy for everybody, even for us. Therapy dogs go through special training and are not legally permitted on planes. The same can't be said for emotional support animals. They do not have to pass any tests. They do not have to um, behave any certain way um, to be become an emotional support animal. But thousands are let on planes every year in this country. There's a lot of risks involved to not just the person with the dog, but obviously the different passengers and the crew members. And experts like head trainer at Elite K911 in North Ridgeville, Abby Moen, think the system needs to be changed. So it's not that there shouldn't be emotional support animals, in my opinion. It, I think it's a great idea on concept, but there does need to be some requirements. There are quite a few dog distinctions. For one, service dogs are the special dogs given as guide dogs. They perform a special task for the handler and require years of training. Then there are emotional support animals, simply there because a doctor wanted them as support for the handler. They require no formal training. And a therapy dog is certified through a special organization and helps others not the handler. It's important to know the difference, says Moen, between a working service dog, a therapy dog, and an emotional support animal. So while different airlines have different rules, for now, as long as your doctor writes you that note, your emotional support animal can get on that plane with you. Reporting live at the airport for News 5, I'm James Girardi.